And welcome back to the Perth Racing Preview. Race number four on the card, the Carlton Dry Handicap. And a pretty good race this over the 2,400 metres. The stayers get a lick at it. And we'll have a look at Cole Seam's last run. Also the pass runs of Upgrade and Action Plan as they fought out that thrilling finish last week. Catch up with Paddy Carberry and he'll tell us all about Upgrade's great winning run. And also Alana Sanson's picked up the ride on Action Plan and the Black Pig. Plenty to get through. A couple of other runners include Marty Rossam. I think you've included quite strongly in your selections this week. Cezanne, who won two starts ago, but last run still good behind the Black Pig. And it's Gully Gold, who won last start at the midweeks. And the other runner is Sequenza, but I think he may be struggling Sequenza. All right, the first horse we'll take a look at is Cole Seam. Now, this is when he dropped back to the 1,600 metres. He wasn't suited in this race. Look for him in those red colours as they come to the top of the bend. Beyond dispute, they joined in with a run. Taken out wider was Lord Lonsdale. Cole Seam was there as well, followed by Money Exchange. And further back, who did it? He got shuffled back. Jinx King is trying to get to the outside in the straight. Racing inside the 300. Lord Lonsdale in the all pink has raced up with Money Exchange. Beyond the dispute, Corporate Sam has come through strongly as well. And getting down the outside is who did it? Money Exchange hit the front. Who did it? Getting down the outside from Beyond Dispute, the inside. It's Money Exchange just in front. Who did it? Lunging photo. Might be who did it from Money Exchange in a close go. Beyond Disputes run third. Belarus getting home late and water out Lord Lonsay on Corporate Sam. And then Cole Seam. Now there's a couple in this one. Upgrade is outside the leader with the white cap. He won on this occasion. The other runner to keep an eye on is Action Plan. He fumbled the start quite badly when he missed the start by about six lengths. He had to take off around the field. He's the widest runner with the uh, yellow cap. Tightly bunched field is the quartermaster. By golly, they are bunched up coming around the turn. Daney C tackled by Upgrade, who headed her shortly after straightening it. Western Force moves up into third place around Blue Hoops into the open, cutting the corner, McAldico. La Sournoir tracked them through near the inside, and action plan under the whip down the outside is grinding away at the 200 upgrade in front, though, from action plan. Blue Hoops coming between them. The quartermaster, Kim Joyce, getting busy now in the late stages. Upgrade, action plan. Kim Joy, action plan, upgrade, they hit the line, upgrade, upgrade, fell in from action plan. I caught up with Upgrade's rider Patrick Carberry during the week, and this is what he had to say. He's won his last two, he's in form. Yeah, he has, um, you know, he's stepping up to the open class and stepping up an extra 200. I don't think the distance will be a worry, but uh, he's racing against some seasoned horses. Um, he's only just turned four, but uh, he can't, can't do any more than win like he has done his last couple of runs. He's up to uh, 57 this week. Barry Ford, you're on well. Do you think the weight will worry him? Uh, he carried 57 last start, but I think the class is going to be the difference. Um, stepping up into the open company rather than racing against the special conditions horses. Horses like Cole Seam and that, he doesn't get much of a weight relief for them. So um, he's still running really well. He's done well since his uh, win last Saturday, so he'll go well. OK, and while Dion Luciani was walking around with that microphone near the uh, jockey's room, he also caught up with Alana Sanson, and uh, wanted to find out about her ride on Action Plan on Saturday. Good pickup ride. Yeah, um, Paul Harvey got off uh, to ride the Black Pig, so she's in a bit of form. Uh, my bloke will go well if he can jump away. It's fair to say he probably should have won both his last two starts. He's got some tricks, doesn't he? Yeah, they have pulled the noseband off this week, so we're hoping he can begin a bit better. Um, if he does, he'll be running over real good, I suppose. The barrier won't worry him, so... As long as you can get him out of the gates, I think he'll, he'll be a good chance. Yeah, and the small field will suit. If he does happen to miss it, he won't have to go around so many. Now, the last run of the Black Pig. He won on this occasion, ridden by our Premier jockey, Paul Harvey. He's back running about second last, ridden very patiently on this occasion in the clear. ...up behind them, still four off the pace. And two lengths away, struggling was Verda Floor. Coming up before the turn, inside the 550, and north and south is just in front of Son of a Beach. Spice Master three wide, Cezanne four deep. Behind them, the Black Pig will get to the outside shortly in the straight. At the 300, still north and south, the leader. Spice Master was put under pressure. Cezanne is getting down the outside, and here comes the Black Pig, starting to steam down the centre of the track, north and south. Cezanne and the Black Pig is now joining in. Spice Master still there, the Black Pig accelerates. Raced up to Cezanne, then Spice Master, but the Black Pig is in front, and the Black Pig has won. The Black Pig by half a length to Cezanne, and Nickaway third, Spice Master. 
Well, selections in this race, and uh, as you preempted, I've gone outside of the square a touch here with uh, Ross Am. Number three, last run was a beauty behind Dana Collada. From the yard, remember, we said, look, look, one or two runs away, and maybe still one run short. I, I might be firing off a little early, but just on the weights, if you go back through previous runs, really well in with a claim here, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Alan Kennedy having Ross Am either outside the leader or leading. She did run third in the Perth Cup earlier on this year. And uh, a wonderful staying tight. Mickey Shea's uh, team are in good form. Uh, to beat, four action plan and five, the Black Pig. Good race, three, four and five. Well, here's your favourite apprentice, Alan Kennedy, anyway. Yes, but young uh, lad. For me on top, number five, the Black Pig. To win, it was a good ride last start. And uh, Paul Harvey, new season, I think he's our leading jockey this time around, Marty. And he'll be itching to get the winners on the board. Number two, upgrade to run second. He doesn't fit in that well at the weights racing against open class horses for the first time. But uh, he's won his last two and he's in form and he's drawn well so I can see upgrade running another good race again. The third horse, number one, Cole Seam. Apprentice rider goes on this start with a three kilo claim which brings him in quite well at 55, uh, Cole Seam. So numbers for me, five, two and one.